Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World. And we're going to take a little trip. Yeah, we're going to go over there in Britain. Yes, over there in Europe. We're trying to see what in the world is going on with Queen Elizabeth. Okay, we already knew she had a problem with her son. And she didn't too much care for Diana, but Diana grew on her. But child, Diana kids are grown. And she's still around. I'm like, girl, is, what is she made of? Is she a clone? Is she battery operated or something? I mean, she damn near 95 years old and still getting it. And her husband gone. And I don't know what Charles might have did. Because she, she's holding on to that title. She said, I ain't never giving it to you. You don't embarrass me enough. You don't embarrass me with bringing Diana up in the family. And I had to deal with her nonsense and all of that. And then she was getting ready to divorce you. When you know we don't believe in no divorce. Then you brought Camilla up in here. But that ain't none of my business. But I was not as... Quiet as it's kept, the loudest I'm going to speak it out. Because one thing for certain and two things for sure, the queen going to outlive us all, it seems like. It seems like this woman just don't age. She just stopped at that particular image and she just kept it going. She can change her outfit. She can change her colors of her outfit or accessories. But that woman's still here. Some people say she's an alien. Huh? I, I can't find that to be uh, too far from the truth, maybe. Because this woman, all her friends, all her little people she used to hang around, I'm pretty sure they dead and gone. And then, you know, she got her son there. But, I mean, he just going to be prince. Oh, well, that's it. Because he going to be king. Because she going to plan on living up all. She probably last one standing on earth for us so quick. That woman knows she got some staying power. But anyway. They told her, meaning her doctors, told her to sit out for a while. Don't do nothing. Just sit down. Rest for two weeks. All right, two weeks. She need to rest for eternity. Queen Lisa, she ain't giving up no power to nobody. Because can't nobody run it like her. And as long as she got green blood coming out of her, she's going to do what she got to do to stay on that throne. She ain't stand nobody. And ain't no doctors gonna tell her what to do. But anyway, we have Ivana over there for CNN. They wrote up a piece on her. They titled it Queen Elizabeth II told by doctors to rest for at least two weeks. Will not carry out official duties. I'm like, what is she doing anyway? At nine five years old what country is she in charge of? And are they really taking her serious? Does she have all her cognitive thinking skills still intact? Because if so, she need to get some to President Biden. Okay. No dementia, no nothing. She just over there smooth sailing. Nothing going on with her. Y'all need to really investigate her when she do die. And see what kind of brain cell she had going on up there and check her heart too because she seemed fit as anybody and ain't seemingly trying to slow down for nobody but anyway he go on to say britain's queen elizabeth ii has been told by doctors to rest for at least the next two weeks and not undertake any official visits buckingham palace said in a statement friday the announcement comes more than a week after the monarch's 95. Like I told you, damn near under. And y'all still letting her make rules and regulations over there? Mm-mm. She spent the night in the hospital for a spokesman's described at the time as a preliminary investigation. I'm like, y'all, when y'all say investigation, why y'all didn't say medical workup or just to... Uh, actually run some routine tests on her. You know what I'm saying? But y'all said investigation like she dead or something. Like, is y'all cloning her over there? Are y'all cloning her over there? And what's with that big old X pendant she got on her chest? What that represent? But anyway, 
It goes on to say her majesty doctors have advised her that she should continue to rest for at least the next two weeks. The doctors has advised that her majesty can continue to undertake light desk duties during this time, including some virtual audiences, but not to undertake any official visits. The palace said in a statement Friday. Or have she contracted the OVID? Which one y'all think? Is she just tired and, you know, she's not acting like herself? Or she got the OVID? Which one y'all think? But going back to the article, they're saying she can attend um, something called the National Service of Remembrance. And it was a pre-festival that's supposed to be going on on the 13th. But she's decided to go to the main one on the 14th. I'm like, why y'all got two different things for the same thing? Celebrations. But I'm not over there in Europe. Maybe they get down like that. But the palace also announced Tuesday the Queen would not be making a planned appearance at an evening reception for war leaders. She was going to host at the CO or COP26 Summit next week and would instead make a video address as the head of state representing her country is a key part of the queen's constitutional role having to counsel her in per in person appearance at the largest gathering of war leaders to ever take place on british soil would have been disappointing to the queen the, re the Queen recorded the COP26 speech Friday afternoon, which will be shown at the conference on Monday, according to the Royal Service. A Royal Service told CNN, a, a Royal Source told CNN, the Queen remains in good spirits and continues light duties. The advice was a sensible precaution from medics in the Monarch Diary with light for next week, the source of Friday said. Okay. A source close to the palace told CNN at the time her overnight stay in the hospital last week was not OVID related. Now, why would they say that? Why would they say that? Because they know people got brains of their own. They're trying to put two and two together. But they're trying to say that wasn't it. But anyway, um, she returned to Windsor Castle in good spirits after one night. The palace said the palace had not disclosed any details about the queen's health, but it has consistently stressed the monarch was in good spirits and able to undertake some duties. On Thursday, the uh, palace released a snippet from the video call earlier in the day. In a clip, she joked with the 2020 winner of the Queen's Gold Medal for Poetry, David Constantine, who was presented with his medal at Buckingham Palace. I don't know what, what you do with them. You put it in a cupboard? She quipped. Earlier this month, the Queen made the decision to use a walking stick in public for the first time for comfort. While the Queen does not appear to be slowing down when it comes to her ceremonial responsibilities, she has since handed off long haul tours to other family members. Um, still, she is traveling extensively across the UK with CNN's conservative estimates showing the Queen traveled more than 1,000 kilometers, which is equivalent to 621 miles from October 1st through October 19th. Okay, and that's pretty much all about it. But I'm like, I'm still trying to figure out how do they have somebody over the country that's 95 years old and thinking she is functioning with all her faculties, you know? I don't understand that. But Prince, I mean, um, yeah, Prince Charles ain't never going to get a chance to be king. He ain't because the wife, I mean, his mother already outlived his dad. Okay, she's seemingly going to outlive her son, which is Prince Charles, and she might outlive her grandchildren that's supposed to succeed her because she has no room or outlook to retire in. And I just find that very, very strange and odd. I'm like, lady, give up. You're walking with a cane now, saying for comfort. Not for necessary need, but we all know her gait, meaning her balance is not probably good. But yet, they let her try to still run a country. Ooh-wee. I tell you the truth. Not understanding it at all. But honey, like I said, she outlived her husband. She damn might outlive her son. And then, I'm like, come on. Lady, are you serious? 
But she ain't really had no hard life. I don't think she pretty much uh, had to get upset with it's probably family. Not the rulings and the comings and goings of how she wants her country ran. But just how her family be trying to embarrass her out there with these divorces and, and, and you know, drinking too much, partying too much. That ain't none of my business, but I think that's her major concern is how her family makes her look and makes the monarchy, well, not monarchy, but the whole system of what she put together. She don't want it to come crumbling down, not in her time of living. So she feels she has to stay put where she is and nobody's gonna succeed her not no time soon so i'm like good goodness good gracious never gonna get rid of her honey she's gonna still have her outfits with the colors just popping she's still gonna have her mean look here and there and she's still gonna be telling people what to do how to come how to go and when to get off okay but that's all I got for this video, y'all. The queen is just going to live forever. And I'm sure that's a miserable life she's going to be living or is living. Because most of her friends and colleagues, I'm pretty sure, have gone away to the heavenly place. And she is still here on earth dealing with these types of comings and goings. So, I don't know to feel sorry for or feel pity or just feel like, damn. She ain't never going to leave. You know what I'm saying? Never going to be with her loved ones in heaven. Because she too much want to stay here on earth. Doing what she do is pretty much nothing. But controlling everybody's lives and the whole lives over there in Europe. Because they have to succumb to whatever she say goes. Whether you from the new age or the old age. It's her age how she looks at it. And she was so pretty once. I mean, she ain't ugly now. But it's just, you got to contemplate like, damn. She looked good there. She looked good there. But it's like her age and how she is now. She don't, nothing changes. It's always the same. Different colors may be put on her as far as her wardrobe. But she is still the same. I don't understand it. I mean, where is the, where is where you draw the line and say this person cannot be in power anymore because they uh, how do you call it we don't trust them that's the best as i can best i can put it we don't trust them we don't know if they function real well in their brain and it should be a time limit on holding office that's all i'm saying because at 95 hell when she was in her 80s she should just you know Put her duties over to her son, which was Charles. Let him go on and be king. And then she just have time to do whatever she wants to do. Play with her grandkids. Go travel. Don't worry about nothing. I mean, if the world coming to an end, just get her safely to her bunker. If she thinks she can run from devastation and from the Lord, you know, coming to get his chosen ones and put the rest of the population in the hell realms. Um, wherever he, he fit for us as his creations. Uh, I mean, she just need to be just sitting chilling. But y'all still got her up there making major decisions about your lives and, and how you're going to come and go and how things are going to be ran. That's just ridiculous. At least I find it to be ridiculous. But y'all get down and tell me what y'all thought about uh, Queen Elizabeth being told by her professional medical people whom she trusts i guess that she need to take a break for two weeks i'm like she is 95 years old forget two weeks to totally tell her she need to retire period with the t at the end okay but i'll see y'all next video peace out